that is what? Out of this world. So I gave you all of that stuff. I said, you can have a phrase, you can have a song, you can have a scripture, a sermon, a sound bite out of this sermon, you can have a quote. See, you, you got to understand, we got to be more open. Yes. Religion yes. takes away the key of knowledge. Amen. It causes, and most of us fight for it. And we live it, even if we don't know it, a separation of church and state. So we got a segregated life. See, we live and we want to fight uh, philosophically, uh, politically, geopolitically, geosocially, <laughs> all of those terms that we use. And we've been hoodwinked and bamboozled to think that there, we are a separate entity than when we come to worship. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't study to preach. I study to live. I don't pray because I'm coming to corporate prayer. I pray because it causes me to live. That's in my DNA. So I come to corporate prayer because that's what I enjoy because that is my DNA. I don't, you know what I'm saying? And I was doing that before I got up here. Because if I had some of those hangouts when I was out here, this up here would go up in smoke. I would have quit a long time ago. But there's no separate. It's not, it's not, it's, you know what I'm saying? I don't have a, my private life and my public life is one. Mm -hmm. Well, you just don't know I'm busy. Who cares? <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> I can see it. I can look. We, we. So you will allow the devil to create a system to cause you to be frustrated and outside of the scope of what he's assigned for your life. And then, Lord forbid, if you belong to this house and have something to offer, and you're going to bring us some leftovers. That's crazy. He should, he should get the first fruits. He should get the best of everything. God forbid we get up here and teach and we ain't studied or prayed about it or lead in worship. How are we going to lead in worship if we're not a worshiper? That's crazy. It ain't like we don't know it. I know when you've been with God. <laughs> we don't. When you deal with God, Amen. it ain't rocket science. We can fail because we get the we get the surplus, the supply, the spirit. Yes. We get the overflow. Mm -hmm. <coughs> well, glory to God, <laughs> bless His holy name. Second Corinthians four. <laughs> it's one. It's one. Everything is one. It's one. It's one. It's one. Legalism and all of that other stuff. <coughs> Church traditions make it two separate entities. It flows from this. It's the same fountain. Yes. I prophesy, I preach, and teach all out of intimacy. <laughs> all because my life is consecrated and submitted to Him. Uh, 2 Corinthians 4 and 16. Everybody there? Y'all all right? Tell them to just say blessing. Yeah. Talk about bless me, yo. Yeah. <laughs> I said, for we, for which cause we faint, what? Not. Not. Yeah. But though our what? Outward, Outward man is what? Yeah. Yep, yep. It's a time clock. It's a death sentence. Yeah. We trying to keep it alive. God already said, within that outward man, the man you used to be before you knew him, it died. Okay. The one you like to look at TV with, spend all your time in the tube, tell a live vision. That's what television is, tell a live vision. Huh? Or, I like TV too, but I ain't gonna worship the tube. It's not my God. Oh my God. Whatever has your heart and your desire, that's to the level of your relationship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
You can only live on what you know. Amen. All right, let me get over here. For which cause we faith not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is doing what? Amen. Day by what? Day. It's being renewed what? Day, day by day. day. So there's something beneath the surface that's actively working on your behalf. That's, that's void of your senses. God placed a DNA on the inside of us. A divine nature activated inside of us. And it's the ministry of the Holy Spirit to bring it to fruition. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. So we just can't have our allegiance to the external man. So we need to know there are some things that God has for us internally. Y'all yes. got that? Yes. So, the, this is what Passion Bible says. So no wonder we don't give up. For even though our outward person gradually wears out, our inner being is renewed every single day. Yes. We say, God, daily load us with benefits. Yeah, yes. and, and that's the scripture, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember the Lord's Prayer? Give us this day our daily bread. So we have an expectation because that's what disciples do. True disciples do. They spend time with the master. They spend time with Jesus. They have those intimate moments with him. Look at, look at 17. It says, for our light of fiction is but for a moment. Working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. So there's a system. There's a order. There's a cosmos that's antithetical. To God's expectations. God wants to renew hope in us yes. day by day. He wants to enlighten our eyes day by day. Why? Right? Because he understands there's a force to be reckoned with externally that's going to fight for your attention. And he said, though it's afflicting you, we're receiving a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory on the inside of us that's reserved for the person that you be inwardly and not constricted to what's happening to you, but what's happening in you. It's the Lord's doing. It's yes. marvelous in our eyes. Yes. 19. No, oh, that's 18. 18. Why we look not? Mm -hmm. We need that's what we need. We need a look not ministry. <laughs> I look not at my bank book. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I look not at my body. I look not at my situation. Yeah. I look not at my pastor. Come on. Uh -oh. Look not at my church. Come on. I look not to my job. <coughs> Amen. 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 I'll leave the money alone. Move on. Uh, but, <laughs> but at the things which are not seen. Hey, so the things that are not seen are every good gift and every perfect gift. Yes. Yeah. That's above. Yeah. Things that are reserved, assigned in my life by the by God's divine providence. His expectation for my life. The thing that I said that's hidden in us. Remember we talked about it all started. He's working in us. He's doing things in us. And, then, and so there's some things that my, I cannot uh, discover it by natural means. Yeah. You can't touch it. You can't get it in academia. You can have a PhD, DDS. Amen? Amen. You, you can have all those different things attached to your name, but that doesn't mean you're going to be able to tap into what's unseen. Right? right? And it said, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Eternal. Temporal. Is, it, is that the problem? Is the temporal more important than the eternal. Uh oh. Y'all y'all all right when I said that? Is it is it is it what? More important. Cause we give it more credence to temporal things than we are to eternal things. When eternal is of greater value than temporal things. Everything in the temporal realm, the physical realm, is gonna change. 
It has a death sentence on it. As much as we hate to think about it, 40 years from now, most of us ain't going to be here. And some of us will. But it has a death sentence on it. So we have to make sure we walk in wisdom, redeeming the time. And this is the luxury we have, not just this local assembly, but other churches of like precious faith. 